Rylan Clark has revealed he begged his mum Linda to lock him up as he sank into a deep depression when his five-year marriage ended. The TV and radio host said in his new book, which has been shared with The Sun, he was so low after he split from husband Dan Neal last year he couldn't eat, couldn't sleep and couldn't talk. Things got so bad he even tried to end his own life after coming clean to Dan about cheating years ago. It was his suicide attempt at the age of 32, which he is now thankful was not successful, that finally prompted him to get professional help. Get all the biggest showbiz news straight to your inbox. Sign up for the free Mara Showbiz Newsletter. In an extract from his book 10, The Decade That Changed My Life, which has been published by The Sun, Rylan says he knew when he started experiencing suicidal thoughts that it was time to get help. I sat mum down and told her I needed to be locked up. I said, I can't do it anymore. I could see in her eyes that she couldn't believe what was happening to her baby. She called my big brother Jamie and my managers and they arranged for me to go to a mental health hospital where they knew I would be well looked after. After spending a week in hospital, Rylan was finally allowed to come home and moved in with mum Linda. But instead of getting back to his old self, he revealed he spent three months laid up hiding from the world. After another spell of bad thoughts, he was admitted to hospital for another week, which he describes as hell. The turning point came when his mum secretly arranged for his showbiz step-parents Eamon Holmes and Ruth Langsford to visit him. Vowing to get his life back on track, the now 33-year-old said he knew he had to make some steps towards feeling normal again, but he still couldn't speak properly. He said the pain he was in from his breakup was killing me literally, and he turned to drink to cope. Despite never being a heavy drinker before, Rylan said downing booze was the only way I knew to stop the painful thoughts. Adding it makes him feel sick now to think about it, he recalled how it got really bad. Rylan and his ex gave it one last shot. But the relationship didn't work out and he hasn't seen Dan since he received a text from him saying it's over. Although it's one of the most painful things he's ever gone through, Rylan says he hasn't given up on finding the one dash but joked he'll get a prenup next time. The Decade That Changed My Future by Rylan Clark is out on September 29th is published by Seven Dials. If you're struggling and need to talk, the Samaritans operate a free helpline open 24-7 on 116-123. Alternatively, you can email Joe at Samaritans. Or go or visit their site to find your local branch. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebs at Trinidamirror. Or call us directo 207 29